just 48 hours after the devastating 6.9 magnitude earthquake on September 30th, 2025. Relentless monsoon rains have transformed the island's shattered landscape into a vast, unforgiving flood zone. Epicenter tremors near Bogo City have morphed into a hydrological horror show, with breached levees, overflowing rivers, and flash floods swallowing entire barangays in northern Cebu. The ground, still jittery from over 50 aftershocks, now betrays Cebu further as skies unleash a biblical downpour. Over 600 millimeters in three days, turning quake fissures into raging canals. The earthquake's shallow fury at 10 kilometer depth not only raised buildings but also pulverized soil, creating sinkholes that funnel rainwater straight into vulnerable lowlands like San Remigio and Medellin. The human suffering intensifies with every rising inch. In San Remigio, where the sports arena's quake collapse buried spectators, floods now scour the site, washing bodies downstream and hampering forensic teams. A young widow, knee-deep in muck, recounts her escape. We dug my husband from rubble, only for water to steal his body. Now I search the riverbanks for closure. Child casualties climb heartbreakingly. Dozens swept away while playing in what they thought were shallow puddles, their small frames no match for the current's pull. Infrastructure, already on life support post-quake, crumbles further under the flood's weight. Bridges in Talise and Consolacion, their foundations quake-weakened, succumb to scouring currents, stranding aid convoys and forcing detours through treacherous back roads. Water treatment plants in Mandau overflow with silt, rendering taps undrinkable and sparking a cholera alert from the Department of Health. Power lines downed by tremors, spark fires in flooded zones, electrocution risks lurk in every puddle. Response efforts morph into amphibious operations. Philippine Navy Zodiacs ply swollen streets, evacuating the elderly and infirm from rooftops via harnesses, while local firefighters in waiters distribute purification kits door to door, or rather, window to window. The Bureau of Fire Protection reports over 500 rescues in 24 hours, but visibility plummets with nightfall and fuel shortages ground some choppers. International aid surges, USAID deploys floating hospitals, Japan sends amphibious vehicles, and the World Food Program airdrops high-energy biscuits to cut off mountain enclaves.
Experts unravel the deadly synergy. The quake's seismic liquefaction softened soil, reducing absorption and accelerating runoff, while damaged watersheds from illegal logging exacerbated erosion. Five OLE seismologists link it to the central Cebu Fault's activity, warning that climate-amplified monsoons could make such compound events the new normal. Earthquakes fracture, floods infiltrate. Together, they're unstoppable without adaptive infrastructure, analyzes Dr. Renato Salidum, Fuevo LCS director advocating for elevated homes and mangrove barriers. Thank you for watching. We deliver in-depth analysis of nature's fiercest phenomena. If you found this helpful, like, comment, and subscribe. Hit the bell for future updates. Note, some footage is illustrative. See you next time. Stay safe and informed. Oh, it's a good day, 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 it's a good day,